Hey guys. Hi. All right. So back again today, day two of the experiment, posting every day, seeing if we can get a thousand subs in a week for my classes experiment. I have something weird to show you though. I found these just released scented nail polishes. So I thought I would do a quick live. They are called Essentials. Oh, very funny. Um, so get it, it's like essential things, but chills, cause they're like really chill scents and essence, like you get the scent of it, whatever. Anyway, so they're by Sinful Colors and they're scented. So I'm gonna do a quick little review of them and see if they're totally disgusting or nice, better than the smell of nail polish, I don't know. Let's see, Ugh, I have a dog hair stuck in my chapstick like that. It's just the way it goes around here. Okay, so there are two of them. There, in fact, are more scents slash colors than this, but these are the two that I picked up because none of them were really colors that I would wear most of the time. This one is supposed to be lavender scented. I mean, I don't know if you wear nail polish or ever scent, uh, smelt nail polish, um, but usually it's really gross. And this one is supposed to be coffee. So I don't know, let's see. First of all, let's do the colors. This is a nice light brown, but it does have a kind of a, I don't know if you can see it, kind of a shimmer, pearlescent shimmer, as they say. And let's see what it smells like, because I'm kind of freaked out. All right, are we ready? So this is coffee drip. And it's, like I said, that nice, kind of a medium brown color skews towards a cool brown with a shimmer pearlescent in it. I really don't want to huff this polish. Oh, I'm gonna get high. Okay, so that's super weird. When I first opened it, it reeked of nail polish. Like it just, oh, reeked of nail polish. Which, you know, most nail polishes do. I'm not a big fan of the smell. <laughs> when you sniff the, holy, I really am gonna get high. Oh my gosh, I'm making the worst faces. <coughs> you see what I do for you guys? Okay, so anyway, if you smell it on the brush, it reeks of nail polish. It's really terrible, but let me move the brush, which is weird because there's not that much polish on the brush, right? But this is super weird. If you smell it in the bottle, it doesn't really smell like nail polish. I mean, it smells a little bit like nail polish, but it also doesn't smell like coffee. I mean, kind of. It smells like a frap. It smells like a mocha frap. It's like chocolate, maybe a little hint of vanilla, and then some coffee under that, but it mostly smells like, like mocha or chocolate. So if you like mocha fraps, hold on, let me put the cap back on before I, I shouldn't do it again. I'm just gonna start coughing. Oh my gosh, that was so gross. Hopefully the other one doesn't make me gag like that. Okay, so anyway, if you are a nail polish person, sorry about the ring light reflecting on it. Let me move it around a little so you can tell. One of the things about going live, but I don't really have time to edit it, so that's what we're doing today. Anyway, sinful colors. Bold color, it says. I got it at Target. It was like nothing. It's like $2.99 or something. It was so inexpensive. Um, yeah. It smells like a mocha frap. It's kind of nice. I would actually put it on my nails and show you the color, but right now I have, I don't know if you can see it, I don't know if anybody cares. I have OPI Bubble Bath, which is the color underneath on the, look how short this poor little nail got cut down to. And then I have this like white pearlescent stamped over it. I know you guys probably don't care, but whatever. That's what I have right now and I don't really feel like doing it. Um, I will do a swatch of it if you are into such things and put it up later so that you can see what the color looks like. In fact, I had already swatched it before I did this. I just am lazy and have not edited it, which I will. Polish number two, are we ready? Anybody wanna take bets on if it's better or worse than coffee? I'm not even really into the smell of lavender, but, oh, the smell woke Jane up. Mom, smells like people are doing dope in here. I don't know what she's saying, but it really, does reek nasty chemicals in these nail polish bottles. I don't know what she's watching. Anyway, this one is low-key lavender. It is a really pretty purple. Um, it skews towards a periwinkle, I would say, and it also has a shimmer pearlescence to it. 
And yeah, supposed to be scented like lavender. Sorry, I did not show you the bottom of the other one. I'm not doing very well as far as the whole uh, beauty blogger thing, because I'm not a beauty blogger. But I do want to show you guys these. So there's that one. And then since I didn't show you the bottom of this one, let's do that really fast. And there's coffee drip that we've already done. So anyway, this one has its little lavender essential sticker on it. Oh, should I smell the brush? I don't know. Yes? You guys want me to smell it? Okay. Of course you want me to smell it. Okay, so it's not as gag-worthy, obnoxious, nail polishy smell as the coffee one, although I also didn't like take a big huff of it like I did the coffee one. Let's see. Yeah, it's not nearly as bad. There's a hint of lavender. <laughs> okay, I take it back. It is still almost as bad. Still quite a lot of nail polish smell. Let's check the bottle. Get a good deep breath in for it. <laughs> I never thought I'd be smelling nail polish on YouTube. That's really nice, guys. Oh my gosh. You can hardly smell anything other than the lavender. It just smells like lavender. I probably shouldn't huff that one either, but it smells really nice. And the color is really pretty. I, I love purple nail polish. I'm not that big on like light lavendery kind of colors, but it's beautiful. When I did the swatch, I didn't huff them deliberately because I wanted to be able to have you guys get like my normal reaction. So I just went bloop, 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 took the photo, took it off with some nail polish remover. I kind of wish I had smelt this one though, because it smells, it smells like a Bath and Body Works candle. Yeah, it smells really nice. But again, don't sit here and huff your nail polish. I don't know if it will actually make you high, but it certainly isn't doing any good. So there's that one. And I will try to uh, post some swatches of them where you can look around if you are into such things on the internet. I know that I got these before most people did. I just happened to see that they popped up at Target um, and got these two. There are also a bunch of other colors in very weird scents, like San Paolo, which I don't really know what that is, but apparently it is some kind of a smoky wood scent. Um, a bubble bath, bath bomb scent that is like a salmony pink. Let me know. If you guys want me to go and buy more of them and possibly kill more brain cells smelling them and telling you what they smell like and swatching them, leave it down below in the comments. Otherwise, I am done with the swatch slash scent test on these two. And since I need to do a to day two update, I will tell you we are at 53 subscribers, which is pretty much where we were yesterday, but that's because I did yesterday's at the end of the day and I'm doing today at the beginning of the day. Um, so if you want me to do that big giveaway on next Thursday the 4th, at 7:30 ish pacific coast time in the morning then you need to be able to get some more people to subscribe so you can tell your friends tell your neighbors tell your i don't know whoever doesn't matter you don't have to but if you would like to if you enjoy the content or you want to be entered into the giveaway you have to be a subscriber at 7:30 on march 4th which is next thursday all right, I'm going to try to post some more content later this afternoon, but either way, I will at least do my one a day, so I will see you later today, or if not, I will see you tomorrow. Actually, I have something really cool for you guys tomorrow, so whether I do anything else today or not, I'm not sure if I will have time, but I have something really awesome to show you guys tomorrow. I will try to live stream it since I can't go mobile. That was a bit of a disaster yesterday. If you want to check out the other video um, that I posted yesterday where I went and checked out these really weird things that are downtown Phoenix in downtown Phoenix, excuse me. Um, but we had to do it from the laptop. So it was a funny disaster if you want to see that. And plus it was really windy, like, oh my gosh. But I left it up anyway, because, you know, fails are good too. We learn from our fails. All right, I will see you guys later today or tomorrow. And yeah, good luck for the giveaway. It's 53 of you already, so we can get there. I have some awesome stuff. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.